trap you. They thought I was gonna fall off. Hey my loves, it's your girl Simply Amazing Chica. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick weave. This video is sponsored by Curls Queen. They sent me over two beautiful bundles. It is a light, yaki straight. I got 20 inches, two bundles. Let's get right into this tutorial. Okay guys, so off camera I braided my hair already. I just wanted us to get right down into this install. So firstly, I am going to be installing the wig cap. I'm going to be using some hair glue on the outside of my leave out. Where this is this technique is really just to make sure that the cap doesn't slip back. I don't sweat a lot in my hair, so I just use the glue method and it works perfect for me. So after I glued my hair down, I just made sure to use my blow dryer, make sure I seal it down really nice. And of course, you know, you gotta use your got to be spray if you want it to last a little bit longer and stick properly. So this is the product that I use to do my protection for my hair itself. So I use a brush and I just gently apply it all over my hair i was very generous with the amount that i use so don't be afraid to use as much as possible because this is really what's going to be protecting your hair all right guys and once you have finished putting your protector on your cap what you're gonna do is blow dry it as you saw and now we're gonna just be cutting out the excess cap so that we can go ahead and start the process of our installation. Some people leave it on, but I like to cut it out because that way I get to see where I want my tracks to lay. And this is the final look, guys. I just can't get over how thick these bundles are. Like I couldn't imagine if I had three bundles how full my hair would be like it's still good with two but trust me these bundles are nice and thick so guys what i am gonna do is i'm gonna just measure out the back and just make sure that my measurement is good i'm going from one ear to the next ear and now that i feel like my measurement is okay i'm gonna go ahead and use my glue and start the process oh of course you know you have to cut we're cutting each track as we go along the way because it just helps it to hold better when you cut and do track by track. So I had to start because my camera, my camera batteries went dead. And so I started doing the back. It would be hard for you guys to see the back anyways, but I am almost halfway there and I'm about to glue on another track before I start going up okay guys so let me show you how you do the process so you're gonna spray your got to be spray first and then you're gonna apply the glue onto your tracks after you apply the glue onto your tracks now you're gonna go ahead and stick it you know to your liking wherever you want to place it what I like to do I like to make sure that I stretch the bundle Whenever you stretch the bundle while applying it, you help the your install to be way more flat because now you're pressing down your braids. So that's what I do. And of course, each layer that you glue down, you're gonna make sure that you seal it off and dry it with your blow dryer. That's key. And we are basically just repeating the same process right up until we reach the top. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy this video and I will jump back in and talk with you guys a little bit more. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I knew I said I was going to jump out, but I really wanted to explain why I am starting to go all the way up. So the reason for me going all the way up is because I feel like the hair lays way more in your face that way than versus if you do it like, um, how do I say it? Then if you do it like straight rather than coming all the way up to the U part, if that makes sense. So that's it.
this is how far one bundle took me it did have it did pretty well because as i said the bundles are very thick and very long now i am gonna start with my second bundle Oh, I'm so excited. Listen, the hair is coming out exactly the way I wanted to. I have one more track to install and I'm so happy. I'm just ready to be over with this. This took me a good, I want to say this took me like two hours, which is really not bad or less than two hours. And so guys, I, I glued on my last track and now... Where I'm gonna be um customizing like I shouldn't say customize I'm gonna be styling the quick weave right now so stay tuned for that part. Alright guys, so I'm just taking my hair a loose and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flat iron it just to make it blend some more with the, with the bundles. Guys, this is my first time using um, wearing light yaki texture and I must say I really love it. It has a little bit of coarseness to it and so it just blends in like so perfectly with my hair. Like look at this guys, what do you think? Like the blend is really crazy, like the blend looks so natural. And so I'm still just flat ironing it a little bit more to my liking. Um, my hair is actually, I want to say my hair is natural because I tried relaxing it and I didn't put enough activator in there and so it kind of didn't process that well so it's kind of very natural at the end. And I'm sorry guys, my husband is in the video because he is just always in my stuff. He just likes to be in the mix. And so I used the wax stick just to like blend my hair in some more and you guys can see like it give it this nice sheen and it also just help whenever I'm flat ironing it for it to come out like blended. This is him just trying to help me out a little bit so he claims. And guys this is really the ending of this tutorial. You guys can stay tuned a little while. I have a little, I'm doing a little bit more, but not too much. Just adding some oils to it, trying to get it nice and silky. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that this was helpful to you guys and stay blessed. Love you guys. Bye. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.